We all go through seasons where we feel an abundance of motivation. Then something happens. We feel burnt out or tend to lose that drive. But don't let this stop you from living your dream. It is okay and it's normal to feel this way. Once that happens, it is up to you to find that momentum again and gain the motivation you are looking for. I don't know about you, but when I feel unmotivated, I feel useless. I feel empty and almost like a zombie. If you surround yourself with inspiring people and positivity, I guarantee you that you will find your motivation. If you allow yourself to be drawn to negativity and you stay there, negativity will always surround and consume you. When you fall, you just have to get back up and try again. You have to tell yourself that you cannot give up when something doesn't go as planned. If you're passionate about something, you will not allow yourself to give up. Without struggle, there is no progress. Work hard, stay passionate, and stay motivated. What's up everyone, in this week's episode of Staying Motivated, I had the opportunity to sit down and have a, a conversation with filmmaker and cinematographer Chris Ray. He is very involved in the skateboarding community as well as doing stuff for the NFL, but I'm going to let him tell you guys how he stays motivated, so let's jump into the conversation. So uh, basically what I'm doing, it's a video series called Staying Motivated. Mm -hmm. And I felt like it would be a good time with like the whole quarantine thing going on. And, uh, which we don't go a whole lot into the quarantine, but, mm -hmm. um, so basically the first thing is, is just introduction, like who you are and what you do. Yeah. And there's no like time limit on your answers. Just whatever you feel necessary, honestly. It's cool. Just natural conversation stuff. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Cool. So yeah, if you just want to like introduce yourself. Cool. So my name is Chris Ray and I'm a filmmaker. I live in Southern California. Uh, I usually shoot a lot of action sports. Um, I've done a lot of stuff outside action sports, but usually I shoot skateboarding. And um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, I know you from the skateboarding community for sure. Like, mm -hmm. I remember seeing your the stuff you do with a GoPro and like, it's so cool what you do. <laughs> Yeah, I love I love uh, I love shooting all the GoPro stuff. Yeah. That's one of my favorite cameras. Uh, I just picked up the uh, the eight not too long ago. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 excited to use it. I I don't think I've bought a new GoPro since the Hero Three. So oh my gosh, that's it, a huge it, that's a I, huge upgrade. I know. <laughs> but yeah, I I want to I want to use it more. I haven't done it yet. How did you get involved in filmmaking? Did that come from a skateboarding background, or did you just? kind of jump into yeah, it. it 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 came from it came from skating for sure um you know i remember in, in like sixth or seventh grade my friends came to me and they said hey we're gonna make a skate video do you want to have a part in it and and my mind is just blowing i didn't know that you can make your own skate video and i thought that was the coolest thing ever yeah um and so i i was basically like we were filming for it, but i just didn't feel like anybody else was really like making the video yeah so since i was more excited about it than anybody i took lead and i was like you know what i'll make this video and yeah. I just kind of turned into the filmer. And, and again, at that point, I still didn't know like you could get paid to do it or that people did this for a living. I thought we yeah. were just doing our own thing. Yeah, that's kind of how I was. Like my friends and I would skate. And like, I remember like, I was probably in like seventh or eighth grade. And I remember like begging my mom to buy me a camera. And it was like mm -hmm. one of those like little tiny like Sanyo cameras. Yep. And like just starting out with that and like I ended up falling more in love with shooting and editing than I did mm -hmm. skating. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty it's pretty amazing. I mean to be able to to go out and like capture your friends and just, you know, make your own stuff, it was it's it's amazing. It is, yeah. And uh did you like start with like movie maker or like iMovie? No, so I'm I'm even from an even older generation. So I'm I'm uh, 36. So I okay. started uh, with VCR to VCR. Oh so wow, we yeah, were, yeah. We were filming on eight millimeter tapes, and then I edit two VCRs together. And it was even so old school, and I had no access to anything that I would edit the video clip to clip in like the order that we got them. Yeah. And then I would have my friends come over, and I would play music at the same time as watching the part. 
Wow. So because I didn't know how to add music. So um, so yeah, it goes it goes back a little farther. Nowadays, it's a lot easier to uh, to get access to that stuff. Oh yeah, I, I'd love to learn that process though because I've never done it. Because I'm mm-hmm. I'm 28, so I like I had Movie Maker when I was growing up. But I think that process would still be cool to learn, just to know definitely. how to do it. Yeah, uh, definitely, it's pretty amazing. It, yeah, I bet. what motivates you um you know what i think it's just just uh, i mean other filmmakers um obviously my family taking care of them Mm -hmm. um it's really just you know it's that i'm i'm passionate about what i do you know what i mean and it's just i'm excited about it all the time so um i think it's just it's it's seeing other people get excited about the stuff that that um i can help create it's about uh, other filmmakers getting excited, you know, and, and just seeing cool content. That's awesome. What do you think the your favorite thing that you filmed would be? Well, that's a tough one. I mean, I've been do I've been so fortunate to be a part of a lot of really cool projects. I mean, yeah. everything from obviously in skateboarding to yeah. filming a motorcycle on a wave. If you guys haven't yeah. seen that, it's called the Pipe Dream from DC Shoes. Um, the dude rode a motorcycle on a wave. That yeah. definitely is that's definitely insane. In the top up there. It's insane. So yeah. um, that's pretty amazing. I mean, I've got to film, uh, you know, NFL stuff. I've got to film, you know, musicians. Um, to the list, car commercials. Uh, I've been lucky, man. Everything I've been a part of, I've been so fortunate. Yeah. Do you enjoy like doing stuff with musicians? I do. Yeah. 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 It's, it's it's awesome. Yeah. It is. I do a lot of like concert photography, and just like being able to listen to music while taking photos especially if it's a band that you really like it's like a it's a double win (laughs) it's funny it's funny because like i'm the kind of person that you know if i went to a concert i'd actually prefer to be filming it than just sitting there and enjoying it yeah um and i i love like live events is actually one of my favorite thing to film because it's it's so related to skateboarding because you know just like in skating like you can't control everything that happens exactly yeah the lighting, the security. Um, so I really relate to to live action where you have yeah. to think ten steps ahead, and you don't, you can't sometimes ask people to do something again. So yeah, I really enjoy shooting that stuff. Yeah, and it keeps you on your toes too, because like, mm-hmm. ex- like especially if you've seen the band before, you know like how they're gonna do if they're if like they're planning to do like some kind of jump shot or something, mm-hmm. you can like anticipate that and like plan for it. But yeah, it's. Concerts are, they're a lot of fun. Totally, totally. Um, sorry, my dog's barking. It's all good. <laughs> I, lo- I love dogs. Yeah. <laughs> He's a uh, almost two, two-year-old German Shepherd. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm not sure what he's barking at. I'm, I'm, sure mine, I'm sure mine will start barking here pretty soon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What helps you stay motivated when you start feeling unmotivated? Oh man, I go through this all the time. I mean, um, you know, just with how much I feel like is on my workload, it definitely uh, starts to get overwhelming. You know, it starts to to just, I, like, you know, I'm, I'm, it's really weird because I'll go 100% on everything for six straight months and then all of a sudden I just want to give up. You know what I mean? Like the mm-hmm. second that I like get overwhelmed or I just feel like I can't handle it, I'm like, I'm done. I just throw my arms in there and I'm like, I just want you know, sometimes a simple life, yeah. but, um, it's, uh, it's just like, I need to recharge, you know, it's like my wife yeah. will say like, Hey, instead of just giving up, why don't you take one day off? And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I haven't even taken right. a day off. So, um, but you know, it's just staying motivated. It's like, you know, I'm, obviously with filmmaking, you're, you're, you're doing many tasks that checks boxes, you know, so I'm mm-hmm. seeing things get completed and when to complete something, that's obviously motivating. Yeah. Um, but it's just, it's a hard grind out there, you know, it's a big, it's, it's just, it's tough. But it is. Just try to, yeah, try to stay motivated as much as possible. That's awesome.
uh, what advice do you have for staying motivated? Um, I would say make sure you're doing what you want. You know, make sure that um, you're working towards your goals. Um, but also look at those goals. Like look at, you know, I would often look at something and be like, why am I not here? Why am I not doing this? Um, and I had to look at also where I came from, you know what I mean? And where I was at this point, even last year, you know I mean? Um, I think a lot of people might look at me and go, you know, you're an advanced, you know, um, successful filmmaker, you know, mm -hmm. but I feel like I'm, I'm just getting started still, you know? So I constantly look at myself and I'm like, how can I get farther? What can I do to push myself? Um, what can I do to, to do better, you know? And, and, and I think that that's like important is just to always like realize that, that I'm not done, you know, I'm yeah. just getting started. That's awesome. Yeah. And, um, how now he's growling, <laughs> <laughs> um, when you like, say you have a project that you're working on and there's something that like, kind of like the quarantine say like you're in the middle of like a skate skate video you're making and the whole world shuts down and you have to you're not allowed to like go out and film how would you how do you overcome that feeling um well you know i think i think i'm really fortunate because i'm um i do a lot of things so being being a you know a cinematographer being a director um being an editor um, you know, I'm able to create storyboards. I'm able, there's a lot of things that you're able to do, um, at home if you, if you do all those things, you know? Okay. So I, I'm in the, I'm in a lucky situation where I don't just shoot video, you know? Okay. So, um, so I definitely was able to kind of like stay motivated. I was able to, um, you know, stay active and definitely like stay occupied because I do more than one thing. I think that's the key nowadays. I think that, you know, if you're a filmmaker and you do just one thing, I think that that's that's definitely difficult uh, and you're not as valuable. You know, I think that you need to be be able to do a bunch. If uh, if anyone else out there wanted to be a filmmaker, what advice would you give to them? Um, I would say, you know, depending on what stage they're in, um, you know, I tell people often to like take, take free jobs, you know, like definitely um, get to know other people. Um, you know, I've taken free jobs Mm -hmm. And I've gotten on set and, and people see my work ethic. They see, um, you know, my talent and then they're like, oh, okay. And, and they build the trust, you know, I mean, yeah. if, if nobody knows you, like they, that might, it's, it's, it's it, the whole world is all about who, you know, right. I mean, yeah, it really yeah. is. everybody, it is. everybody has, everybody has an incredible reel. Um, everybody's a great filmmaker, you know, all, yeah. there's so many great filmmakers out there, right. but if, it's really about relationships and it's about, um, for proving that you, they can trust you, you know? Yeah. So I'd say take some free jobs if you're at that stage. Um, I would say also like for myself, you know, I was working a part-time job before getting into filmmaking while I was working full-time. And then once I got more into filmmaking and I was able to make some somewhat of an income, mm -hmm. I was able to go part-time on that. But I never went a hundred percent straight into it because I needed to make money to get, you know, money for gas and money for camera gear and things like that. So um, just, you know, be smart about it, plan it, you know, just, just figure out how you're going to get there and, and definitely be patient. Patient is the key right now because yeah. I think with social media, you're seeing everybody wants instant results and you might look back like, dude, I do it all the time. I look at myself and I go, I go, man, I haven't put out a cool project and like, what am I doing? I'm blowing it. I need to like edit something. I need to like put something out there. Yeah. And then I'll look and I'll be like, wait a minute. I literally just put out something a month ago that was incredible yeah and it, it was huge but a month nowadays feels like you know six months because of yeah. social media and the internet so just be patient to everybody out there that's awesome so yeah. this is the basically the end of the conversation but if there's like any like last words and anything that you want to like shout out like your social medias or anything like that mm -hmm. you can go ahead and do that at this point yeah i mean so if anybody wants to follow me i'm um, on instagram facebook Twitter, all that stuff. Um, Chris Ray Films is my handle, so you can check out my stuff. It's a lot of skateboarding stuff, a lot of camera gear, things like that. So, um, but yeah, everybody, I mean, just keep filming, be patient, and just uh, you know, you'll get there. Like I wish somebody would have told me when I was younger that all this stuff was possible. So it really is. If you want to do it, just stick it out. If you're passionate about it, you'll time will fly by. You won't even realize it. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I was talking. I had another interview for the series yesterday, 
and uh, the guy and I were talking about that because like there for a while I couldn't find anybody to like do the series like whether mm-hmm. we couldn't get it planned or mm-hmm. I was just like scared to ask people and he was like sometimes yeah. you just have to ask like totally. you're, nev- you're never gonna know unless you ask totally so, so like I'm glad you're down to do this because I've looked up to you like in the filmmaking aspect for a long time appreciate that yeah awesome well i appreciate you taking time to do this yeah no problem